Welcome back guys, it's the Tight Wad, and I wanted to shoot a follow-up video to my how to remove rust with vinegar episode. Click the link up here in the corner to see the process of removing the rust from the tools. And these are the same pliers that I used in the video. They have been now rust-free for two years. I say rust-free, they're largely rust-free. I've used them for fishing a few times, and you can see right here on the teeth where it didn't come completely clean last time, the rust has reappeared. I have a little bit of a surface rust right here. And then here's a little spot. And on the back side, there's a little rust, which looks like a pit. It's not really a pit though. It's just a little spot of rust. So I know I could easily clean these up even with a little bit of steel wool this time. Uh, the mechanism in the middle still works really well. Um, super loose still. And if you remember, all I did was put these in vinegar for 24 hours scrub them off with a toothbrush and then coat them in three in one oil. So that did actually, in fact, protect these pliers. My plan is to record another video showing all the different ways that you guys have put in the comment section that you say are good for removing rust and show you the benefits of each. And then I'll also uh, talk about rust prevention after it's done. Again, on this one, I just used three in one oil. Some of you mentioned a spray wax, others mentioned a spray paint that works well or any kind of spray paint that works well to protect the finish. So I will be doing an experiment with that, which I will link right up here at the top once it's created. And now on the screen, you will see some other videos that I've recorded. So feel free to click any of those. They'll open right up on your device. Click the logo in the center of the screen if you want to subscribe. Go ahead and ring that notifications bell so you'll know whenever I post any follow-up videos. I hope you guys have a great day.